And welcome back, everybody, to episode 11 of our Bithynia Let's Play on the DLC Wrath of Sparta overhaul mod, Dimitrios Petrochis. So where we left off, somewhat of another copycat video of where we're just marching our armies west, trying to actually get to the front line, because it does take a little time getting from point A to point B. But uh, we declared war on Empress, and we've built two armies and a little tiny navy to try and... Try and get them across the sea safely. We're going to land at Tyrone and push against Empress. Uh, we're not super far away from the military objective here, which is obviously the only option we have to go for. Uh, the naval units thing is going to be a little annoying, but yeah, we'll do that eventually. But taking the regions is really what I'm worried about and actually getting it going. Uh, we've taken a good chunk of land, and uh, it's... It's been fun. It's interesting to see like Samoshes come up against Dimitrios and try and take... They've just been going at it with each other, trying to fight over the sea. This little sea here, as Imperdus has completely dominated mainland Greece. Uh, and now we're challenging them, so... Let's see. We took uh, Krindius, uh, in the, or Krindius in the last episode, and we're just trying to recover that building, or that area going right now. But I think we're at an intern. Yeah, we're at an intern, so we're going to do that. Now we're going to try and besiege Tyrone. Would we... you kindly yes. allow... I would gladly take trade from him, since he's a tiny little puppet now. Or a tiny little single city. But, hope you guys are enjoying your Wednesday. This is being recorded on the Sunday. I just got done recording my Tuesday video, so right off the heels of that. And hopefully we get into this. I don't know anybody else, but does it bug you when like the camera's not like correctly positioned in the right angle? Because, like... You know, it does me. I do it for cinematics sometimes, but man, it does bug me. Okay, what were we going to get here? I think we're going to... I do not remember what we were going to get here, actually. Livestock and farming. Farming and manufacturing. Livestock. Local commerce. Manufacturing. Substance. Um, what were we going to get here? Was it commons or was it craftsmen? Or was it a banditry building? I don't remember. That increases food. Or uh, or was it a religious area? Hmm. I'm a bit confused as to what I was getting this for. That would benefit us both, but it would increase problems. This would give us just a lot of wealth. A lot of problems too, though. Hmm. Let's just go for the shrine, I think. I think that's the safest bet. Because it can in it can increase public order and sanitation and uh, the money we make. Alright, though. So you're good over here, you're good over there. Now, we did see, or I at least saw, that the Empress has launched a... This is an army. They are coming for us, it seems. Marina, I think. Marina could hold, I believe. Uh, we're almost close enough to make landfall, though. You know what? I said that, and actually that is... We've got a good two... One, two, three. Three more turns before we even get close enough to besiege. And that's the nearest landing there. Now, we've got a while to go, actually. So we want to make sure this navy's actually tipped off to go. Um, actually, don't get don't get once that cost us money. Just don't, because I have a feeling the navy is just Bithynia doesn't. It has a good army roster, but I don't know if our we're not very proficient in our navy as far as I can see. Well, the the game the navy itself might be, but I am not. I have forgotten Rome 2's naval combat is quite interesting. Oh boy. Sorry about that. I had to send a text out there. But I hope we've encountered roads. I didn't realize we haven't encountered roads yet. Athens likes us. That's Athena good. Give you wisdom. Thanks, buddy. With these words, you bring joy to 
Oh, Rhodes hates us. Good to know. Uh, we can Be trade with you. Between friends, the gift of gold sure, is Sure, fine. We welcome your acceptance. Alrighty. So that navy is way over there, I think. Which is good. Our army. We're still making our way there. We're almost there. We're gonna get it this this episode, thankfully. The question is, do we push on a Fulvius? They don't have anything in this region, so it should be easy to take, but Pella and the region of Macedonia might be a little different. Let alone, we know they have an army somewhere. Where They had an army here. Where'd it go? Okay, we've lost that army. But we know it existed, so... We gotta watch out for that. I think we should... I want to besiege this. Do we have a besieging army? I think we do. Let's take it. Let's take it, and we've not had a battle in a while, so we're gonna we're gonna take this. We're gonna fight this. Give us a nice little battle to entertain us, to kick the uh, the conquest of mainland Greece off with a hopefully a good start. They have peasants. It's been a while since I've seen peasants. Like legitimate peasants. Looks like a big city, actually. Hmm. Ooh. Wow, you can tell the Orbis Terranium mod is on in this map. Damn, looks nice. Alrighty. So, oh yeah, you can really tell. Look at that water, Jesus. That is, that is dark. What is my saturation at? It's not brightness. It's gamma. Oof. How about... Okay, that's too bright. <laughs> there we go. Um... Yeah, let's... That's still dark as hell, but that's alright. Not a big problem. Nothing's out of the ordinary just yet. Yeah, the men look good. Sorry about that. Uh, Alright, but we're going to deploy these guys. Get off that. Uh, you, you, and you, and the most experienced Thracian warrior unit. We're just going to attack this main wall. No reason to be... Uh, be uh, divided about this. They don't have a big garrison. Cavalry. And the general in the back. Okay, and who are you? Oh, you're not. I keep forgetting that is a different Peltis unit. Uh, and then the general. Alrighty. Start the battle. Siege there. Take there. Take there. Take there. Fear is eating at our enemy's souls. Oh, well, they've deployed units over here. I guess they thought we might try and take this. This is an interesting map. I've not seen this one in a long time. Very interesting. They have their... See what they do here. We're gonna speed it up, obviously. Don't need to wait forever. Uh oh. Well, that was a little bit of lag. I don't know what that was about, but they are shooting at our men slowly. But we're not taking any casualties. Oh, actually, we are taking casualties. I lied. I lied very much. Poor men died before they even hit the wall. And that tower actually might burn. Come on, men. You might want to next time wear some... Oh my god. You know, that... Damn. Time to scale the walls. This uh, firing pit of doom. Jesus. That is a pike unit. They have a pike unit waiting up here for us. That is not good. 
Federation Warriors are the last ones up here, it seems. They're not actually all the way up there. Come on, guys. There you go. Alrighty, so the walls... I had to send a text, sorry about that. The walls were pretty easily taken. Oh, I say that. Age your brethren. Move over there. Thracian warriors. Send them there. Nope. Get in there. Fighting for the walls. He is off the wall. Oh, oh, he came back. Oh, just to die again. Fight, men. You don't gotta throw the javelins right in their face. Jesus. Just go melee, it's all right. We are being shot, so we kinda need to get in there. Oh, hey, look, there's some peasants. I think there are peasants in there somewhere. Fighting for the walls. We've almost pushed the tower, but they are actually... F what are you all doing? Calvary, deal with that unit. I would try and get the Thracian Warriors over here, but I have a feeling that we're just going to take more casualties. I don't know what these guys think they're doing, but uh, our Calvary will make swift work of them. They're like, oh shit. Oh no. I don't know what they were thinking. And death. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh boy. It's not one charge. They're lucky the charge got stuck on the building here. But that unit's decimated. We are pushing them on the wall here. I hate when you try and look down, it goes away from the battle. The wall scenes are always hard to get, but this, oh, this looks nice. Yeah, slaughter them. Stab. Ah, uh, some of them are running, it seems. Oh my god, he just got shield bashed. I am noticing, though, a lot of our men are not wearing helmets. I feel like they should probably try and do that. Alright, let's pull our cavalry back out. We decimated that unit. They're all dead. Well, they're holding on pretty well. I'm gonna speed it up here. We don't obviously want to take the whole episode just watching this little siege battle, but <laughs> that man just touched him and he died. Oh, dude. Death glitching through the wall. What's going on? This is actually taking a while. They're, they're holding a lot stronger than I thought they would. Um, let's try and get... Try and get you guys through. Trying being the keyword there. Just, just run through them. Actually, you know what? You're gonna die. Fuck. Get some Thracian warriors up there now. Just push everything we got through there. Push everything we got. Kill them. Kill them harder. I mean, they're playing it smart. The AI is doing pretty smart. It's trying to, it's trying to pike us down right here. As long as we don't go down there, though, we're safe. We might want to bring the next two Thracian Warriors up here. Because it does seem that they're going to hold strong. The morale is actually pretty decent. We will, we will break them. Man, that is a line of men with the same clothing on. Yeah, I don't know what's with our troops not wearing helmets. Probably should do that, gotta be honest, guys. You might live a little longer. Get up the walls. Get up the walls. Man, this, these units are holding on a lot stronger than I thought they would. 
I mean, I get it, they're defensive units, so obviously, but... Now you two are actually going to go over here. Actually, no. I didn't realize there was a gate right there. Eh, keep going, keep going down. Right into that pike side, why not? They didn't turn around. Obviously they will, but we're going to inflict some strong casualties on them. The wall is finally breaking. Ah, disengage. Do not flank around them. And impact. Death. <laughs> The Thracian warriors are deadly. Like their blades, like their attack, even in vanilla Rome too, is deadly. Obviously, they don't have armor though, and their defense is pretty low. But their attack is wild. But once you lose push, I don't know why they stopped with push. Oh shoot! See, they've turned around actually. Disengage. Jesus, they lost. We lost a lot. Wow. We've broken them on the walls. We're going to speed this up here. And we shattered them there. Not you guys. Oh, hello. Hello, mob. Jesus. Is that it? Oh, no, they have a general unit. And they're trying to hold the bridge. It's a pike unit. Shit. Um. Huh. Alright. Clever. Clever, uh, clever AI today. Put a pike unit on a bridge. A good pike unit. I like this one. They actually look really nice. Very cool. It makes me want to, it makes me wish I played, uh, Empress or Macedon or one of the other two. One of the other heavy pike factions. But this is still a good campaign. But it does make me miss pikes. Pikes are always fun. So just send the skirmishers up and watch them do their duty. I didn't actually expect the garrison to hold out as well as it did. The slingers should almost be in range. How you doing? Oh my god! It's gonna be a sad day for you guys. Oh! Oh my god! Oh. This is just sad. And there we go. Holy sh Jesus! Oh my god! <laughs> Javelins. Javelins are so always fun to watch. All right, let's get back to the campaign map. That was fun. We lost more than I was actually expecting, but eh, we killed, obviously, all of them. and It was no real struggle, but they inflicted more casualties than I was expecting. Man, that last, that last little bit. Man, their general just got decimated. All right, thank you very much. We'll just occupy this. Why does it seem brighter now? I fucked with the settings. Oh, God. Uh, lower that just by the two. There we go. You can tell it's back to normal now. All right, so we don't need this. Do we really need the military building at all? I don't think we do. Destroy that. Destroy that. Keep that, but destroy this. And you can also be a guard house. Actually, that takes a lot of food. Um. I don't think we need... No, we're going to need the sanitation benefits, aren't we? Four sanitation, though. It only gets four sanitation. We can get better sanitation. So, good job. Good sir. You're a... This army has been with us for a while. Now, can we... Can we make landfall? We can't. Son of a gun. Alright, let's do some infrastructure building. We're good down there. 
we could destroy this building here. I mean, Magia really doesn't need to be a recruitment hub anymore. And Mariana isn't under threat. So, and we don't want any more problems breaking out like we had in Byzantium. But, do we upgrade you? I think we should. Five food. We've got the food to spare. Over here. Three squalor. You can take it. Actually, that doesn't give us any more food, though. <laughs> Be dumb of me. Uh, you give us food, though. All right, let's end our turn. I would like to get the siege of Tyrone out of the out of the way here and actually make some progress. The agents are trying to fuck with us. Oh, alrighty. Now oh, the economy is done. That's good. Email. Sorry, I know y'all hear my phone go off all the time during recording. I hope y'all don't mind that too much. I just. Uh, uh, mm, 18 turns. Honestly, economy's been doing really well for us. I think, though, with the progression that we're making, we're probably going to want to just keep going down the military, or keep going down a military tra Actually, yeah, morale. Morale's always good to have. Oh, uh, that is a Empress Navy. Good thing it's not very big, though. It is an honor to serve. So we can make landfall there. Okay. We go. We're not going to have our Navy engage theirs unless it tries to hit our army. And over here, you can get a Sacred Grounds. And you can get Commons. Craftsman, and I think Sacred Grounds. And let's look at our military objectives. Thrakia. Oh, we actually need to own this province. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Life so much. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize we actually had to... I forget I forget this island is a part of this province. Well, that sucks. I was about to make friends of them. Let's grab... Actually, we probably shouldn't. Well, I mean, they're not a severe threat to us, really. Like, they're all the way down here. Hmm. Let's grab... Actually, I just realized we're destroying all of our recruitment centers without replacing them. Yeah, I did just realize that. We are. We have no military buildings anywhere. I'm dumb. Well, we do have we have one here. Actually, yeah. Get that, and then we can get the ranged in this one too. I'm real dumb. <laughs> Just got rid of all our military buildings without having replacement military buildings. Um, we'll raise an army there in a few turns to uh, fight Last Machos and take Thassos. Probably should take that in our first war, but that's all right. There's that Empress. Oh, their fleet docked. So they plan on trying to fight that. Empress's navy. Oh, that's Lice March. I keep mixing those two icons up. It's the same color scheme and stuff like that, but. Alrighty. So Pella is still undefended, which is good. We want to make sure we cover the bridge and the road, though. So it's going to have. Ah, it's, oh, it's, God damn it, there's an outbreak here. It's not going to go away anytime soon, either. Um, yeah, besiege them. Why can't you move? Sail closer to them. We're going to try and make landfall, and we'll hopefully just siege them out, let one army go around and take the minor settlements. And you should be upgraded, I think, right? Ooh, we are at negative four food right now. There is no food producing buildings in this whole area. Stop making that. Give me food. I did not realize we had no food producing buildings. Jesus. Speaking of food. Now we're sitting at 16. Let us get farming, culture, 
five stock missile industry or all sources eh all sources why not oh my okay don't start don't start building an army to try and reclaim old lost land please don't start doing that well, I'm busy at war with a huge faction we should probably recruit the army over here already uh, get him and actually let's get the cavalry general now let us recruit Massalian hoplites they're not Massalian hoplites every time I say that I know I see as soon as I say it I mess up but Thinian hoplites it's that they use the same unit card or they use a similar unit card it always throws me off well, there's that army again it's thankfully they don't seem to they either have bigger issues or they're not worried about our forces just yet till just now probably just now they're like oh man that's a whole invasion force lots of construction being done that's good this army can yeah. make landfall and this army can it cannot um they should be taking attrition now as well. Not too worried about the navy taking attrition. Oh, that is a lot closer than it looked, actually. Ha. Huh. Well, those cheeky buggers. That'll benefit. Actually, we probably want to get the commerce. Oh, I don't know what we want to get. Slave traders isn't worth it, I don't think. Eh, just stick to that. And then this will go for... And then that, and then we're out of money. But we can actually get one more thing here. Get the food. Now we're out of money. I think we're going to continue to besiege this. Actually, you know what? Let's just auto-resolve that. Because that big army is going to give us a plentiful big enough battle. Raise it to the ground. Hopefully, maybe that'll exterminate the disease. I know that doesn't work that way, but... Uh, master attacker and you lost your whole navy Jesus um, dock leave the navy the way it is uh, give us however one of those and this is doomed beyond repair and you can make landfall now oh he's got the mercenaries Ooh, I cannot wait to see the mercenaries Alright, so Tyrone is now ours, and we have a Empress army on the way to counter us. So, I think though I'm going to call it here. We completed the objectives for this episode, and time is getting a little scrunched on me right now. I'm sorry about that. But, in the next episode, it does seem we'll be having quite a major battle with what seems to be an Empress, uh, the Centaurs, against one of our armies. And it should actually, hopefully, pose a challenge to us, which we have not had with Byzantium's army yet. And uh, Lysimarches, we caught them off guard in a massive war. So Empress has, while we've surprised attacked them, they've had time to turn their armies around, and it seems that they're doing that. So, if you enjoyed today's episode, like and subscribe as always. Stick around for more. We're getting pretty close to actually calling this series to an end, I believe, as long as we take uh, Thassos and we do some other stuff little minor objectives but we're a lot closer than i predicted but i'm enjoying it and i hope you guys are too um so without further ado this has been spartan signing off <laughs>